Okay, so the next question that we have on the menu today is asking us if a rectangle or is a rectangle a parallelogram always, sometimes, or never? So it's basically saying how much, um, if, you, if you know that you're a rectangle, are you a parallelogram? Or if, um, I guess we could also reverse the question too to make this a little bit more interesting. If you're a parallelogram, are you a uh, rectangle? Okay, so let's actually write out some proper definitions for um, rectangles and parallelograms. So here we got rectangles. Let's start with rectangles. And um, let's surround the word rectangle with a rectangle. You know why? Because I, because I feel like it. <laughs> okay, so uh, what are some properties that we know about rectangles? We know that they have they got four sides and each angle this is important each angle mandatory 90 degrees angle must be 90 degrees exactly Okay, so, you know, as we can hopefully see from our little rectangle drawing here, we got 90 degree angles. Those are perfect corners in every single one of those corners. We got a 90 degree angle, so, um, yeah, as, as we can see, that's got to be the case. Uh, each angle must be 90 degrees exactly. Um, we have two pairs of parallel sides. parallel sides and two pairs of sides with equal side length so two pairs of sides with equal side length Okay, and that's a that's a pretty much complete definition of what a rectangle is. Now let's um, draw out the definition of a parallelogram and see um, in what case is there like overlap between the two. So let's say we got parallelogram now. Okay, let's see if we can. Um, so we have a shape for a parallelogram. Um, not quite. I guess I'll have to improvise. part in my lines not being perfectly straight okay uh, but we you know as you can see we have a angle like that we still got like four sides another way we could say that is it's a quadrilateral these are different types of quadrilaterals these are different members of the quadrilateral family of shapes quadrilateral quad four lateral sides <laughs> yeah quadrilateral family these are two members of it okay and each angle okay in parallelograms there are no requirements for angles okay so they can be 90 degrees maybe um they could also possibly be um you know 70 degrees they can be 122 degrees but um all angles must be less than 180 180 degrees then 180 degrees okay and the reason why is like we could never have a parallelogram with something like that like th there's no way that you could make a parallelogram with a reflex angle like that okay so that's why we have the maximum 180 degree angle uh, requirement for parallelograms cool and we have um, two pairs of parallel sides two pairs of parallel sides and um, two pairs of sides with equal side length I mean that's kind of like a, another requirement like these are the requirements are kind of related to each other uh, because you can't have two pairs of parallel sides unless you have two pairs of equal length sides equal length sides Okay, now, now let's think about 
how these two are related. Is a rectangle a parallelogram? Well, the definition of a rectangle perfectly fits in to the definition of a parallelogram. So uh, we can write that here. I'll write that in a different color to make it more clear. Um, following rectangle requirements also follows parallelogram requirements. Okay, so rectangles equal parallelogram. Are always parallelograms. Okay, and uh, think about it a little bit more. Is it possible to think of a rectangle that breaks one of the parallelogram rules? I certainly can't think of it. Um, you know, if all the angles are 90 degrees, that's less than 180, so that follows that rules. And we have two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of sides with equal side length. Um, that. You know, if you're following the rules of a, of a rectangle, you have to, must be, no exceptions, you're following the rules of parallelogram as well. Okay, but in the other direction, parallelograms can have non 90 degree angles. Some parallelograms are not rectangles, but all rectangles are parallelograms. So this is like a one-way type of relationship. So some parallelograms are rectangles. Okay, so it's a it's a one-way relationship. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yep, uh, rectangle always a parallelogram, uh, but it would be good to mention the other directions uh, relationship. So the above solution is um, good, would be good to mention the relationship in reverse, um, saying that some parallelo parallelograms are rectangles. Cool.